Welcome to Two Projects. In this video, we are going to explain the project A Study of Blockchain Technology in Farmers Portal. Introduction The primary goal of this project is to bring about a significant transformation in how farmers and consumers engage within the agricultural marketplace. It seeks to modernize and optimize the existing processes to benefit all stakeholders involved. Traditional farming methods rely heavily on central servers for managing and storing critical data. Unfortunately, this central approach exposes these systems to vulnerabilities, particularly hacking threats which can disrupt operations and compromise data security. Furthermore, these systems often lack the transparency required for building trust among farmers and consumers. When information is not readily accessible or verifiable, it can lead to inefficiencies and hesitation in engaging with the platform. To address these shortcomings of traditional farming methods, this project embraces blockchain technology. Blockchain is like a digital ledger that records transactions securely and transparently. Instead of having all the data in one place, blockchain stores records as blocks of data, each with a unique code called a hash. These blocks are distributed across multiple computers or nodes, making it much harder for anyone to tamper with the data or compromise the entire system. Blockchain offers several advantages. First, it is decentralized, meaning the data isn't stored in one vulnerable location. Second, it enhances security because the data is stored in encrypted format that is very difficult to alter or hack. Third, it promotes transparency as all transactions are recorded and visible to authorized users. Fourth, it ensures data immutability, meaning once something is recorded in the blockchain, it can't be easily changed. Finally, it is resilient to failures because even if some nodes go down, others continue to maintain the data. Therefore, this project aims to leverage blockchain technology to overcome the drawbacks of traditional farming methods, enhancing security, transparency and efficiency in agricultural transactions and ultimately fostering trust among farmers and consumers. Object of the Project so, as I mentioned earlier, the primary goal of this project is to build a farmer's portal integrated with blockchain technology. This integration is designed to bring greater transparency and security to transactions that occur within the agricultural marketplace. Blockchain will serve as the underlying technology ensuring that every transaction is securely recorded and easily verifiable. Our focus is on creating a user-friendly platform accessible to both farmers and consumers. This means designing an interface that is intuitive and straightforward, allowing users to easily sign up, manage their products and place orders with minimal hassle. We are harnessing the power of blockchain technology to provide a secure repository for all user-related data, transaction records and product details. The blockchain ensures data security through rigorous verification processes such as proof-of-work and unique hash code verification. An effective communication between farmers and consumers is a key objective of this project. We aim to facilitate smooth interactions, enabling users to view, manage and complete their orders without complications. This seamless communication is vital for enhancing the overall efficiency of agricultural transactions. Requirements needed to execute this project are hardware requirements, processor of i5 and above, RAM of 8 GB and above, ROM of 25 GB and above. Software requirements needed are Node.js, Python 3.7.0 and Visual Studio Community version. To execute this project, we have designed few modules. The first module is register here. In this module, both farmers and consumers can sign up to access the platform. Users provide their personal information and create an account which is then securely stored in the blockchain. So we have two users, farmer and consumer. These are all the farmer modules and these are consumer modules. The first one in farmer modules is farmer login. This module allows registered farmers to log into the platform, gaining access to their account. The second module is add products. This module enables farmers to add detailed information about the crops they have available for sale, including images and quantities. The third module is update quantity. This module lets farmers modify the available quantity of their listed crops. And the last one is View Orders. This module allows farmers to see the orders placed by consumers for their products. And the first module in Consumer Modules is Consumer Login. 
This module allows registered consumers to log into the platform accessing their account. And in the next module, I have browse products and book orders. Browse products permits consumers to explore the list of crops available for purchase and book orders allows consumers to select desired crops from the listings and place orders for them by clicking on a click here link. Blockchain integration Blockchain provides a highly secure environment for storing user data, encompassing farmer and consumer information, crop details and transaction records. This data is safely stored within the blockchain. Each block in a blockchain is linked with a unique hash code. These blocks are maintained across multiple nodes or servers. Before storing new records, blockchain verifies the hash code of each block. If any block data is modified, it results in a different hash code triggering security alarms and ensuring the integrity and immutability of the data. Prior to adding data to the blockchain, a proof of work mechanism validates its authenticity, ensuring data reliability. This process serves as a safeguard against fraudulent information. Blockchain's decentralized architecture distributes data across multiple nodes, ensuring data availability even if some nodes fail. This resilience makes the system robust against server failures and attacks while also facilitating secure user interactions. Execution of the project To execute this project, first we need to open the code folder which contains the project source code file. So this is farmer port portal folder. Inside this folder are Python code files that are intended to be dynamically loaded into the project during runtime. This is farmer portal app folder. This folder comprises a static folder which contains files related to CSS, JavaScript and Bootstrap. These files contribute to the visual and interactive aspects of the application. And farmer portal app folder also contains a templates folder. Within this folder, we'll find all the HTML pages used throughout the project. It includes pages like index.html, home.html and more representing various sections of the website. And it also contains Python code files that will be executed during the runtime of the application, supporting its functionality. This is images folder in which I have these images which will be used in the application later. These are Python main code files. This is manage.py file. It is a command line utility that comes with Django. It provides various commands for managing Django projects including tasks like running the development server, creating database tables, applying migrations and more. And this is run.bat file. Instead of executing the project through command line interface, we have created windows bat file to execute the project. Double click on it to start the Django application. So the Django framework will host the application locally at the default address local host and port unless configured differently. Now copy the local link provided by the framework and copying it and paste it into any web browser. I prefer Chrome. After pasting it, type index.html at the end and hit the enter button. So the home page of the project has been displayed in the browser. This is the front end built using Django framework and here we can see login and register here links. So if we are new users, we have to register first. Click on register here link, fill in all these details. The username would be Kumar, give the password, give the contact number, give the email ID, give the address. So select the user type here, I'm giving it as farmer. Now click on register. So here we can see the details have been saved to blockchain and the details are saved in encrypted format. We can see the block number here in which the details have been saved and we can see the previous hash and the current hash of the block. Now we'll register again this time the user type would be consumer. So the username is Pavan. Give the password, give the contact number, give the email ID, give the address, select the user type here, I'm giving it as consumer, now click on register. So we can see the details have been saved to blockchain 
and we can see the details are saved in encrypted format we can see the block number in which the details are been saved and we can see the previous hash and the current hash associated with the block now we'll log in as farmer click on login link give the credentials username and password of farmer select the user type as farmer and click on login So we have logged in as Farmer Kumar and here we can see add new products, update product quantity, view consumer orders and logout links. Click on add new products link. So here the farmer can add new product details. Fill in all these details. The crop name would be Jover. Give the quantity. I am giving it as 100. Give the crop price. I am giving it as 20. Give the crop description. I am giving it as good quality. So here we have to upload the crop image. Click on choose file button. So from images folder I am selecting this image and click on open. So we have filled in all these details. Now click on add products button. So we can see the product details have been added to the blockchain. And we can see the blockchain storage details also. Now click on update product quantity link. So here we can select the product name from the drop down. I am giving it as Jova. The quantity would be 1000 and now click on update quantity. So in the red color text we can see the crop details have been updated and we can also see the blockchain storage details. Now click on logout. Now we log in as consumer click on login link. Give the credentials username and password of consumer. Select the user type as consumer and click on login button. So we have logged in as consumer Pavan and here we can see browse products and logout links. Click on browse products link. So here we can see a search products uh, screen. So here the consumers can search for products. Select the product name from the drop down. I am giving it as Jover and click on search. So here we can see list of products with product name Jover. We can see farmer name, crop name, price, updated quantity, description and image. And here we can see a purchase crop column. In that column I have a click here link. By clicking on it we can place the order. So I am clicking on click here link. In the red color text we can see order details updated and we can see blockchain storage details also. Now click on logout. We'll log in as farmer again. Click on login link. Give the credentials of farmer. Select the user type as farmer and click on login. So we have logged in as farmer Kumar and here we can see a view consumer orders link. Click on it. So here farmer can view order details and then contact consumer to complete order. So here we can see our order that is product name Jova, customer name Pavan, the contact number, email id, address and order date. Now click on logout. Similarly we can add any number of farmers, consumers and add new crop details. So the conclusion here is blockchain has brought about a profound transformation in the agricultural ecosystem establishing transparency, data integrity and trust as fundamental pillars of the system. The project's user-friendly interfaces and streamlined processes boost efficiency for both farmers and consumers creating a seamless experience for all stakeholders. The blockchain's Unchangeable data storage ensures the integrity of user information, crop details and transaction history, reinforcing trust and reliability.
The system's resilience is fortified through decentralization and hash code verification, safeguarding against server failures and malicious attacks, guaranteeing secure transactions. This platform is built to scale. This scalability ensures that as more users join the platform, it remains reliable and responsive. For more projects please visit our website www.trueprojects.in For updates on latest project videos, please visit True Projects YouTube channel and subscribe.